In the last video, I introduced you to this dot notation, and we're going to end up using it in this video where I show you how IntelliJ can auto-generate a lot of code for you. Um, this one does have some coding going along with it, so I invite you to kind of code along with me. Open up your IntelliJ. Let's get started. So I have student already ready to go. We're going to close out of that. Let's make a new project here by going to File, New Project. Okay, my JDK is already selected. We'll go next. We'll go next. Uh, I need to switch folders. You are likely already in a good folder. So we're going to name this one Employee. I like to make sure that I have a subfolder created to help keep our code organized. And as soon as you have that project named in that subfolder, you can hit finish. It's going to tell you that it's going to create that subfolder perfectly fine. I'm going to expand my project folder. Right click on the SRC. Let's make a new Java class called Employee. Okay, starting from scratch, what I always want you to think about where coding objects, classes used to model objects, is what type of properties slash attributes do they have? Right, with student, that was something like an ID, a first, last name, um, a GPA. And then what type of behaviors? And a lot of systems, uh, those behaviors, right, were like, they could be action-based. We saw with dog, it's something like we're literally simulating things like barking and eating. And a lot of systems, right, it's like we, we made student, student more so fits into something like a grade book. And there's not a lot of action going on, but still behaviors, actions, those are modeled using methods. Anyway, let's start by thinking about attributes. I mean, I think it's pretty easy to have a first and last name for our employee. Likewise, an ID. Maybe this is an integer. Maybe in the system the ID is actually a string, right? My actual ID as a teacher in the school system, it, it has letters in it, right? So maybe ID is actually a string. Uh, maybe we get in here and we have something like a salary and probably something super important like a title. Like what is your job position? So. Here I have some instance variables, right? We're gonna have four strings, a first and last name, an ID within the company, um, a title, like what is your position, and a double representing your salary, how much you make. It depends on the system that you're building, but these are the properties, these are the attributes I'm starting with. Pause. Okay, this is where the magic is going to happen, and this is, um, <laughs> This is why we try to do things kind of to convention. This is why we try to do things properly. This is why I introduced you to this dot notation. The moment that you have instance variables in IntelliJ, you can start auto-generating code, code that follows convention. What do I mean? I'm gonna go down a line, a couple of lines. I'm ready for a constructor, right? I'm going to right click and we can generate code. Alt insert is our short key. So I'm gonna right click, go to generate or hit Alt insert. And then there's gonna be this list of things. What do you wanna generate? Constructor, a getter, a setter, getters and setters, equals and hash code, way, way more on that later. A two string method. Let's take this a little bit at a time. I'm gonna start with a constructor because that's kind of what belongs right here, right? This is all of the instance variables, right? my first name, my last name, my ID, my title, my salary. It's asking me, what instance variables do you want to use in your constructor? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and select all of them. A couple of different ways in window, like you could, Windows, you can control click and hit all of them. You could also shift click and it, so it, it selects everything from what you have highlighted to where you've clicked. I'll demonstrate that one again, right? I have this guy highlighted. I'm gonna shift click down here that's gonna highlight all of them. Also still in Windows, Control A is highlight all, although they may have some issues there, I doubt it. But I'm gonna highlight all five instance variables. I want a constructor involving all five and hit okay. 
it just wrote the constructor for me, right? All it's doing is looking at my instance variables. And then from there can determine these, the, all this information. Now I showed you this dot notation and here is a good big reason why you should probably use this dot notation on top of other good reasons is that we're auto generating code that is using this dot notation, right? I am saving the local variable first into the instance variable first. I'm saving the local variable last into the instance variable last, right? IntelliJ didn't have to come up with funny names here. It just used the exact same names that the instance variables are called. And we use this dot notation to differentiate between those. Super awesome, okay? That's just a constructor. And again, you could kind of, you know, uh, play around with it a little bit, right? Maybe we, uh, let's go ahead and do another one. I'm gonna insert another constructor. Alt insert is our short key. Maybe this one, um, we don't include salary. So I have, I'm gonna shift click so that I highlight just those four, right? And so it's gonna make a constructor involving just those four. Well, at this moment, salary doesn't really have a value per se. So we can come in here and we can actually give salary a value. Now, I talked about in the last video, I only really use this dot when I need to. There's no other salary in this scope, right? You can use this dot salary to stay consistent, but because there's no other salary, whenever I say salary, it knows which one I'm talking about, right? The only salary in the scope is the instance variable. So there's no need to actually use this dot notation. I have seen basically people on both sides of this argument, right? You should use this dot to be consistent. Um, and then there's other people saying, like me, they're saying like, that's kind of silly. You don't need to, so why? Why, why even type the extra characters? Whatever, whatever makes you happy, okay? So maybe we want to create an employee using only four pieces of information instead of requiring all five, and we start the salary at zero. Some of you know about default values and you're kind of like, whoa, 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 whoa. Anyway, well, our real, <laughs> our real talking point here is that it just wrote all this basically for me. And it gets better because things like getters and setters, they're so systematic and because we learned the conventions behind them, right? We're following best practices. I can alt insert getters and setters. Here it's asking me what getters and setters do you want to write, you know, in terms of the instance variables. Again, I'm going to select all five and watch this. There is all five getters and setters. And I know my students right now are so mad at me. Why did you make us write those things? Hey, I wrote them in the videos too, knowing full well that this stuff is here. But the only reason we can reach this point is because we've been following convention. We know what it's supposed to look like in terms of getters and setters. Okay, now keep in mind there are sometimes specialty methods made on top of this. For instance, like I would consider doing a, uh, a method that basically combines the first and last name just to make things kind of easy. But these getters and setters, they're the norm. Lots of objects, lots of classes end up having them. And so IntelliJ is able to auto-generate them following best practices, following conventions. The last one I'm gonna show you is the two string. It's usually not exactly what I want but you can do it. So I'm going to Alt Insert, or conversely, you can right click and generate a two string method. It's going to again ask me what instance variables. Notice it's highlighted all of them here, right? Because that's typically what the two string involves is everything pertaining to the state, that is every instance variable. So yeah, let's go with all of them. I end up with something that looks like this, and this is all on one line. We'll actually create an employee object and um, see what this looks like, right? Notice there's actually no backslash in anywhere. Why don't we go ahead and see what, it's hard to see what it looks like here, right? Uh, which is why I typically try to make my two string in the source code look like the expected output. If there's a new line, I make a new line, that sort of thing. 
let's make an employee object and you'll see what I mean. I'm going to right click on the SRC, do a new Java class. I'm going to call that driver. I'm going to plug in a main method with PSVM. I'm going to make an employee object. Uh, we'll give this employee a, a name, Bob Jones. Uh, with an ID, it's a string. Now that string could just be numbers, right? But it is a, it is a string technically. Is it ID next? Looks like it. Title, um, manager, and then lastly is going to be our salary. We make a whopping $1,337 a year. Here's my employee, right? A reminder that this first, last ID, title, salary, that's reminder text. When we were working with student, right, this said F, L, I, and G for our GPA. Now that we're actually using this dot notation, I get to name these things, better variable names, and IntelliJ is hitting me with this reminder text of, okay, whatever this variable is, you're calling it first in your constructor header. I guess I technically am using this one. Whatever this second string variable is, you're calling it last, right? So now that we're using this dot notation, we get much better variable names in our headers. Okay, so I've made an employee. I wanna test the two string. So I'm gonna salt on imp, right? Recall that this is going to implicitly call imp dot two string. All right, I'm gonna right click in free space and tell it to run. And again, we just wanna see what this two string looks like. I'm telling you, you can auto generate it. It just, it's not great. It does the job. If you like it, you'll be able to use it for a lot of, uh, a lot of things. Um, it's super sweet for testing, right? Like I almost always need a two string to kind of test things, especially if I'm printing to the console. So maybe I'll just alt insert to auto generate a two string and get my testing in. But um, this is the power of IntelliJ. It is the power of following conventions and best practices and this dot notation. We'll see you in the next one.